Hi guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at Deathlings for a 500 plus Paladin. So let's just jump straight into it. If you look at the results, uh, my results are from non-charms, no prey hunt. Uh, this place scales very well with charms, which like I just said, I didn't have. But anyway, I was able to get about 4.4kk raw, um, which is not that great if we're being honest. However, as mentioned, this place scales pretty well with charms. So once you unlock those, it gets a lot better. Um, the overall tier rating I give the spot is around B tier. It's like a reasonable solid alternative tier, especially if something, if either of the Deathlings is boosted, suddenly this place becomes very, very good. I believe this place peaks at about 5.5kk raw. I think around level 650 with charms. This is somewhere around the peak of this respawn. Difficulty I give it is about a 7.5 out of 10. However, this is including basically all best and slot items and defenses like sleep shawl and uh, prismatic ring if you don't have all this sort of equipment then the difficulty does increase quite a lot and you do need to be careful because those guys do hit a lot uh, try not to get boxed um too much because yeah if you're boxed especially on like the lower level in that main big room uh it gets very very difficult so you do need to be careful anyway the beast here is about five hours for the scout and about 10 hours for the spell singer uh you will need a level 500 plus i think solo for a paladin anything before 500 is too difficult i would you know honestly i would say like even 550 maybe is a safer level to begin uh you will need to begin the secret library quest with the this is the liquid death submission and port hope you'll also need to have the section i think uh, for the deeplings, you know, in Edron, uh, Liquid Black, I think it's called, you know, to be able to access this section. Basically, the, yeah, the Grey Island quest for deathlings and deeplings. Uh, and this place can be found by knights, paladins, and duos, and maybe even druids or sorcerers solo. I think this place is best for knights solo, like um, club, club knight around like level 400 with soul maimer is very, very good. Um duos are pretty damn good here as well ek ed duo does very very well i think paladin and ed duo as well does pretty well because um these monsters don't walk over energy or poison bombs that means you know you don't actually need the knight if you know how to use bombs properly as a mage you can hunt here with paladin as well recommended imbuement is everything standard plus earth protection imbuement i do recommend it at the early either earth protection imbuement or uh, the armor that gives earth protection. I don't remember what it's called. Do I have it equipped here? No, I have no armor. Um, I don't remember what it's called. It's a mutated skin armor. I think that one. You could use that one as well instead of the earth protection imbuement. Um, and yeah, prioritize physical protection. Obviously, it's like 78% followed by earth protection. Sleep short is pretty much a must have. Uh, you know, the physical and earth protection that it gives is definitely a must have at level 500 i think by like level 6 650 you could probably maybe just go full offensive with like you know your um blue rings and blue collar of, of plasma but before then you definitely need to prioritize that protection uh supplies per hour for me was about 1600 uh this is supposed to be great spirit potions actually as far as i can tell let's get rid of that uh of the mana <laughs> uh potion say so, yeah, 1600 great spirit potions about 350 ultimate spirit potions, uh, 600 diamond arrows, 700 thunderstorms, uh, or stone shower runes, doesn't make a difference, you can use either, and 6 bullseye potions per hour. I think you can do a refill for about 30 to 45 minutes here, so you'll, yeah, this, you, you probably want to halve these supplies if you go in and then do the uh, 30 minute refills. It's very close to depot, so you can do a very fast, very fast refill. For charms, you need to use zap or poison. On, on either of them, once you have them unlocked, they both have 110% to energy and earth. So either either of those will be fine on either of the monsters. And the wheel, I do recommend T1 Gift, probably around level 500, just because it's so, so rough um, in certain places. it's. But then on the other hand, you know, T1 Grenade does help you kill the boxes faster. So honestly, I don't know. You should, <laughs> you should try it out. Uh, they both have the pluses and minuses. Either should be ultimately fine and the character you'll see in the video is level 500 paladin 123 distance skill and 35 magic level no combat praise and no charms like I mentioned charms do a lot here and they really really help so let's take a look we go down on minus one uh we do you know we do like a big pull song around here we then do a big pull height and everything and finish off the pull somewhere around here and then we do a big kite again just taking everything that we can and then finish off the pull somewhere around here. Then we do the same 
going all this way pulling everything and usually finish off somewhere around here then we take the staircase down to level minus two uh, we only do one pull on minus two i usually just kind of walk around trying to drag out all the monsters and then i usually finish off somewhere in the middle and then you need to find a spot when you can levitate up you actually want to use Xani Hor up and go up to back to minus one. This brings you here and you kind of just take everything and do this starting first pull all over again. So there's only actually five pulls uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, there's this one here, starting one, this one right here, this one right here, this one right here and this one on the bottom so there's only five pulls however they're quite long because you're kiting the monsters quite a lot they have a lot of health so they take quite a while so respawn can definitely keep up um if you're coming here at much higher level for some reason uh, you can extend minus two and uh, sort of do a big loop on minus two as well i personally find that density is a little bit lower maybe on minus two or maybe just the kiting is a little bit more difficult with the tighter corridors so i don't like doing much on minus two other than just this section in here uh but if you're really desperate for respawn then you can of course do that anyway that's what i have for you today guys from this spot um i think like mentioned it's an all right alternative spot uh definitely not a tier or anything like that uh, i would consider coming here if either of the deathlings are boosted or if you need the beast sherry or maybe on like a double double experience, uh, you know, it's, it's usually free, at least on my server. So yeah, check it out. Uh, and yeah, that's what I have for you today, guys. I'm now going to play you the video from the hunt. And uh, yeah, I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.